on the previous episode. What is it, Ive? It's lightning! He's run away. Oh, not again. Hang on. Three horses. Well, last time I checked, I had two. Oh, hello everybody. Welcome back. It's a bit of an early start today because I have just received a text message saying that once again, lightning has disappeared. So, uh, yes, I've wanted me to just check over at my stable to make sure that he hasn't run here. He probably has, um, but no, it's becoming a bit tiresome actually. Always chasing this horse around. I hope he is here because otherwise we're going to have a bit of a problem. Okay, it's been raining all night. Just recently stopped. Where are they? There's Jet. Hi, uh, Jet, and uh, there's Twiglet. But no lightning. Well, where's he gone? After finding him yesterday, uh, I've took him home. He should have been spending the night in his paddock, but clearly he's had other ideas. But it's not the idea that we both thought that he would have. I have no idea where he's run off to. Uh, I still have the flail. That's fine because that's a, a 24 hour lease. That will be returned at some point this afternoon. Unless I decide to keep it going. Uh, we could extend it if we need to. But that's a different story. We have priorities now. We need to go and find Lightning. However, I think it would be, it'd be foolish to try and find him in the dark. So it would be light very soon. I think probably in an hour's time. Um, we'll head off in the gator and we'll, uh, we'll attempt to go and find him. That gives me a bit of time at least to have a bit of breakfast. Okay, that's more like it. It would have been impossible to try and find him in the dark. I still need to get the gate of service as well. Like I said, it's not driving properly. It's very slow and not very responsive. Okay, we could do some lights. So we'll head over to Ives Farm. She has just sent me some directions. my farm. It's nice. I like it. This... this is where I left him. And there's just no way that he managed to get out by himself? Well, I don't think so, but he has been acting so strangely recently. Yeah. I just don't understand it. There is no reason for him to run away. What's he running away from? I wish I knew. And he can't have been taken by anyone because no one knew he was back here. Hmm. So, have you had any unusual visitors? Uh, no. Not that I can remember. Oh, there was one man who asked me if I was willing to sell my farm to him. Uh, uh, Dagwin! Where are you going? To find out what's going on. Sorry for my abrupt departure. But I don't know what is going on with James. He is acting so weirdly at the moment. He keeps trying to buy everything. I don't see how he could have so much money. I don't know why he wants to even buy everything because some of the places he's buying are just not really worth it. He runs a huge farm and then he goes and buys the, the smallest farm in the area. One little farmhouse with two minute fields. And he's been over to uh, my place to ask if I want to sell up and he's even been here, by the sound of it, to uh, ask if I wants to sell her farm as well. So there's something not right. I was supposed to be going to Dennis's today, and I'm still hoping to. But as usual, uh, lightning has to uh, mess things up. Although, on this occasion, I'm not convinced that he's actually run away. 
He might have been taken, which seems to be a bit of a, a common occurrence in this area. James is probably the best person to go and speak to first. Right, so I haven't been here for a long time. I've had no reason to visit James. Um, he seems like a really nice person. But he, for some reason he's making himself look suspicious. It could be innocent. Maybe he does want to just buy every farm in the area. Nothing like monopolising. But I just don't see why he would want to do that. If there were big farms, like massive estates, and he had the money, then fair enough. But it, he bought Dennis's place, which was basically a bed and breakfast with two grass fields. It's nothing. Let's hope he's in. See if we can get to the bottom of this. Okay. Is James around? James, are you here anywhere? He's probably in the farmhouse. I can't see him. What the? Lightning! Why are you here? James? Well, I never. It's been a long time since I've seen you, Dagwin. James, have you stolen this horse? Why is it here? It's not stolen. Well, I think actually, James, you'll find that this horse is stolen. It went missing overnight. The actual owner of this horse is called Ive. Now, if you'd excuse me, I've got to go and return it. Unbelievable. Dagwin, you don't understand. I can explain. Whatever you do, Lightning, don't throw me off. Thank you so much, Dagwen. What's wrong? He didn't run away. What are you talking about? Uh, that man that wanted to buy your farm took him. Why? Just because I didn't sell the farm to him? No, I, I don't know. <sighs> Why then? Um, where did you get lightning from, Ive? Well, one stormy night I found him wandering around the yard. I tried my best to find his owner. I even made posters, but no one claimed him. I didn't think he would follow. The guilty one. I'm so sorry for this misunderstanding. Please, allow me to explain. I've, when I came to your farm to make you an offer, I recognised the horse. I didn't want to say anything at the time, I'm a bit embarrassed about the whole situation because he ran away from me and it might be because I wasn't looking after him properly. I returned last night and, yeah, I admit, I did take the horse. I just wanted to make sure it was him. So you're saying that it was your horse that ran away and then I found him? That's right. I found a copy of the posters that she created. I was just so busy looking after the farm, I just didn't have time to properly look for him. I guess somebody had found him, and that somebody was Ive. I I'm so sorry, James. I've tried my best to look after him. I know. You've done a good job. You deserve to keep him. I just had to make sure that he was my horse. Hopefully you understand. Thank you. I'm working really hard to give him a good home. Well... Best of luck to you both. And Lightning, is that what you've called him? Yeah, that's right, he's called Lightning. What did you call him? Uh, I, I didn't actually have a name for him. Ah. I suppose you really didn't have time for him. I've been a fool, Dagwin. I'm sorry. Bring him over to my farm for a ride sometime. Goodbye, both of you. Ah. Well. Goodbye, James. And thank you, Dagwin. For everything. You're welcome, Ive. This has been a strange morning. Okay, well, that's that solved. What a really, really odd situation. Anyway, Ive's happy. She's got lightning back, again. Now I just have my long walk back over to James's farm to pick up the gator. Oh well, I could do with the fresh air. 
Okay, well, I still need to get to Dennis's this morning. That was a morning which I will never forget. But, um, yeah, if I can get a bit of farm work done first, that would be useful. This is so wet here. It's all like rain last night. And the night before. And the last two weeks, in fact. Ugh. Yeah, that needs, that needs work. It's worse than Dennis's drive. Or what was Dennis's drive. But it is beautiful around here. So nice. Okay, well, it'll probably be about 10 o'clock when we get back over to the other farm. Beautiful park area. Right, here we go. If there's one thing I've learned, it's not to jump to conclusions. Although, really, I don't know what I was supposed to think. We knew he'd gone missing, then the horse randomly turns up here. It just goes to show that sometimes, rarely, there is the possibility for the most unusual reason for things that happen. I hope that is the last time we see lightning for some time, and I'm saying that in a nice way. If he could just stay in his paddock, that'd be great. And I can train him to make him a much more friendly and, uh, well, relaxed horse. He's very temperamental. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pay off this week's mortgage. Two and a half thousand pounds, but that brings us down to uh, 10,000 remaining. Still quite a bit of money, but compared to where it used to be, 200,000. Uh, yes, that is so much more promising, seeing that number. 10,000. Okay, there we go. So we're down to 6944, uh, which means I am going to have to try and find some fast money-making idea. This field here probably is the solution. Now, there's two things I can do. It was three things, actually. One of them is just to leave this and, and do nothing until next year. Uh, but that is going to bring in no money. The second thing, um, because it is too late for hay, really, is just to cut it and then bale it, and then we can do some wrapped silage bales. The reason I'm not, I wasn't going to do that is because the baler is um, not really suitable for the size of swaths that I've been creating. I was hoping to just put it all into a pit, but obviously that's not happening at the moment. And the third thing is just to get a contracting team in to come in, cut it, take it, and then they just give me a certain amount for doing that, that work, for, for taking the, uh, the grass for silage. At the moment, I haven't decided what's best, but I'm sure by, well, the next few days, I will have uh, found the best solution. Which option should Dagwin choose? You decide. So, the sheep are very happy. They've got everything they need. However, my horses, and when I say my horses, I really do mean my two horses, not the other one. Um, yes, they, they've got pretty much everything, but they do need to have some more hay. So I'm going to go and get a bale. On we'll top of their trough. And there we go. Uh, that's the flowered field from yesterday. We'll get some slurry put on there soon, uh, if James is willing to sell some to me. Uh, and yeah, at some point, I really need to invest in a bale shredder. I kept these bells from the previous harvest, but I have no way of really dealing with them at this stage. Um, I might just take one out and unwrap it and throw some straw out, but I'd prefer to uh, to shred it nicely, but it doesn't really matter. Whatever works, really. Whatever I can afford. Uh, so yes, we, we have these bells here. We've got these hay bells ready to be used. We've got the tractor, so we'll get it pulled out, and actually I should probably return that. Um, yeah, we'll take a bale off and give it to uh, Jet and Twiglet. It hasn't been exactly 24 hours, but I don't think I'm going to be using it. I suppose I could actually just mow the headland of that field. Where all the weeds are. Yeah, we'll just go around once. We'll do one lap uh, just to try and uh, knock them down a bit. Then I'll return it. Yeah, that's good. Uh, some of the weeds do spring up. 
and then we'll see what we'll do with the rest of the field. I think uh, looking at the amount of money that I do have though, we are going to have to do something. Okay, there we go. We don't want any of that grass in the silage anyway. It's full of brambles and weeds and stuff. So we'll switch it off and we'll head up to the dealership. Now some people, I noticed when I was reading my comments in the in the other vlog, in yesterday's vlog, uh, they were saying, why did you not keep the seed from the drill? Well the option was there, I could have done, but I actually got some money taken off the flail for giving it back to them. Um, the actual price of the flail would have been £100 for the day. But I got it for 75 So I just decided that I was going to not take up more storage space. We'll just give the seed back to them. Somebody else can use the seed. And uh, yeah, I'll just take a discount. So um, yeah, I think that was the best option. Okay, let's get in here. Let's first of all, take those hoses out. And the PTO, which is a bit more awkward. Getting in past the guard. There we go. Right, pull the pin. And we have got it removed. So, the forecast is for rain. Luckily, I don't think there's any other field work to do today. So, just heading back. We're going to go and pull that trailer out. We'll take the bale. Give what we need to the two horses and then uh, finally we'll go and see Dennis I'm not intentionally putting him at the end of the queue here <laughs> at the end of the list of things to do um, I just said anytime this morning so yeah we all know what that means up until 12 and it will be it'll be probably about half 11 just gotta get these crucial jobs done first okay we don't need to put the hoses on We'll just pull forward so that we've got space to to grab that bale. Take the strap off. We'll pick it up and we'll uh, we'll put it in their trough. So I am really pleased that we have this tractor. We used to have the fit, and I know there was some confusion about getting rid of the fit and replacing it with this because this is a smaller tractor, horsepower-wise. Uh, but no, the reason why it had to be done was because I needed the money from the Fiat. The Fiat was a very expensive tractor. I needed it for the sheep enclosure over there that was very expensive to build. That's the reason why. And because Dennis had been very kind and kept that one for me and it gave me an okay price on it, I just realised that we didn't need to have so many tractors. Okay, well, we'll get this one put in. I do miss the Fiat. It was good. But I, I just couldn't afford to have everything. Eventually, I would probably replace two of these tractors with one newer one. But, yeah, don't ask me which ones, because I have no idea. I haven't even thought about it properly, it's just crossed my mind. Okay, there we go, we'll get the gate opened. Good, so there's only two horses, not three. I would hope that if lightning disappears again, this is where he'll end up. Then at least it'd be easy to return him. Well, there we go. Taking about, what was it, 25% of the bale, something like that. So that'll be replenished again in a few days' time. Water is good, done that. Everything over there is good. So, yeah. Now, all we have to do He's put it back in the cupboard. I'll probably put it over there. They might be able to munch on it, but that's fine. I'll take the netting off. We'll jump into the gator. And we'll go and see uh, Dennis and his son. I keep trying to say Dennis and his brother. No. 
I don't think there is a another a Dennis around. I think it's just Dennis. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a brother. His son was a shock, actually. I, I find it hard to believe, but there you go. It's another surprise. So we've got a good open bay here for this tractor. Good. So yeah, the, the Gator is always stored up here now. But I do probably... Yeah, I think I do want to change it for a, a pickup truck eventually, when I have the money. I'm still dreaming. <laughs> I'm always dreaming of different things that we need. I mean, this was amazing, getting the Gator. It still cost me, but it was still good. Right then, Dennis, we're coming. It's been a long time since we've seen him. Beautiful day over here. Lovely. Just look at that. Right. Actually really steep, this. <laughs> Amazingly steep. Let's hope he's remembered that we're visiting. Come on, Gacy, you can do it. Oh good, his car is there. Not that he drives anymore, it's actually his son that always drives the car. The pickup. So this this time it won't be a surprise. He will definitely be here waiting for us. Oh, I'm so sorry. Why? You didn't take that long to answer the door. <laughs> Dagwin, it's Dennis. He collapsed again this morning. He's in hospital. They don't think he's going to make it. 